so it brings that volume too. <laughs> <coughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please pay attention. <laughs> Sasha, shoot up, spin that gun out, please. There will be a short presentation followed by a short assessment. So please say a full In all seriousness, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for coming along tonight. Um, I was going to do something a little bit different for the speech, so you, you might want to sit down. I'm serious. I thought something different. Uh, you know, traditional speeches at weddings are so boring and I thought, I'd like to try and break from that tradition, so please bear with me, I'm going out on a limb here a little bit. Uh, I, my wife politely nagged me the other night, she said, why do you like this speech? And I said, well, um, I don't know. I said, well, but I looked for some inspiration, so I looked around and I thought, what am I going to use for inspiration? And I put my hand on, Fox Dog God, <laughs> which was just lying around on the table. And I thought, Probably just as well I didn't put my hand on the Playboy magazine. <laughs> so, anyway, the Fox Star magazine, I thought, well, I might be able to draw some inspiration from there. So, ladies and gentlemen, using the Fox Star Guide as some inspiration, first of all, I'd like to say, thank God you're here. <laughs> <laughs> to all my family and friends. I thought I'd take the opportunity just to briefly tell you, Deborah, when I met your mother, I was absolutely bewitched. I said, hello, hello. And it was your ultimate boy meets girl. And she thought I was the biggest loser. I said, what's wrong with me? She said, well, here's ten things I hate about you. I thought, geez, I better get smart. But then everything worked out and we found out we were a perfect match. I introduced her to my family and I said, this is my mum, this is my big brother, and my other big brother. I'm just throwing in. <laughs> and she, I, I popped the question and she said, well, definitely, maybe. And she worked out that the price is right, so. We went off and saw the vicar of Dublin. And before you know it, hey, hey, it's sad that we're getting married. <laughs> so of course, after we were married and on a honeymoon, I said, well, what about a little bit of sports tonight? <laughs> deal or no deal? <laughs> that was my big bang theory. <laughs> and you know what? It was absolutely fabulous. <laughs> Turned out I was Australia's greatest athlete. We lived in the one years, moved into our better homes and gardens, beautiful neighbours, and we were able to have a little holiday get away occasionally. <laughs> but because of the nature of my job, I was always home and away. <laughs> so he said, what about family? I said, well, you should have sons and daughters. <laughs> oh, okay, I'm breaking pre pre in so he shows now. But... Yeah, it is a stretch. <laughs> so he said, sons and daughters? I said, well, I'd like two and a half men. <laughs> and we ended up with two beautiful daughters, and now our house is packed to the rafters. <laughs> <laughs> it just shows you that we are survivors. In all seriousness, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to take this opportunity. Thank you one and all for coming along tonight. It's such an honour to have our family, our friends, sharing this beautiful occasion with Deborah and Brandon. Brandon, welcome to the family. <laughs> As most people would say, you're welcome to it too, mate. <laughs> Very proud to... Um, have you as the husband of our daughter Deborah? I'm very, very proud of you. Both. I knew I'd like Brendan when I first met him. Deborah brought him up, introduced him. Deborah was still at school, and I said, Hey, this is school and I said, Oh, I just want to go for a drive. I said, Yeah, make sure you're home by 9.30. You know what he said? I am or PM. <laughs> I said, I like this boy. Boy's good. <laughs> so I'm sure we'll be happy together and they'll both blossom into the perfect relationship that my wife and I have had. In life you manage to mark your life in milestones and this is a very, very big milestone for, for us. And uh, Unfortunately there's more milestones we've crossed off and not too many more to come, but we won't dwell on that. Without saying too many more words, I'd just like to say 
I wish you a joyous, prosperous, happy life together. I'm so proud of both of you. Ladies and gentlemen, could you please taste Deborah Brennan. Thank you for indulging me, ladies and gentlemen. As I say, Jackie did uh, get on my back to write this speech. And she said, when you're going to write it, I said, I don't know, today, tonight. Last oh. night. Last <laughs> night. And uh, as we drink the last of the summer wine, <laughs> and as I get one closer, one foot in the grave. <laughs> There's probably only one thing I have left to do, and that's to probably pay the bill. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for indulging me. Have a great night.